I was out walking in Papal's pasture, as Papal's pasture walking people do when I saw something I wasn't looking for. It was a stubby 6x6 piece of scrap wood, and I said, ooh. I instantly had an idea, and I ran all the way to Papal and said, ooh. And he said, you can have it. So I jumped in my rusty red steed and took it home to my trusty miter saw. I sliced it up, not straight cuts, angled cuts. Cuts like a grilled cheese sandwich, nine slices, and a stub. His name is Marcus, don't look him in the eye. I sanded each slice, quickly, aggressively, buttery smooth. Put them back in a row, happy row, smiling slices, like a family. Then I needed some letters. I measured for size, then drew them out on paper. Then I traced them on the back of the paper to get mirrored image. As you can see with this letter L. I needed to do this with most of the letters. I didn't need to do that with the letter E. I did it anyway, because I'm stupid. I placed the letters against the wood slices, rubby scrubby, but the rubbing didn't work. The graphite did not transfer to the wood. This made me unhappy. I need to see letters. Then I got aggressive with the pencil. More graphite was needed. Mad graphite. Angry graphite. By tracing the lines firmly with a ballpoint pen, I was able to transfer the letters. See how the letter N now appears on the wood. Now it was time to paint. I asked my sister what color she was using for my niece's room. She said she had some leftover paint. She was using this. Very unfortunate. It's far too pale. Poor choice, Ashley. So I got this dark enough to stand out against the wood. This color, good color, but I needed it to be closer to this. I needed to add yellow. Shaky, shaky, drippy, drippy, color mixy. Pouring the yellow paint directly into the blue paint bottle was completely unnecessary. Shake it, like whipped cream, like cheese whiz, like your brother's soda can. Five tries later, perfect color, dark enough, green enough, good enough for me. My eyeballs smile. Paint, 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 paint. The letters are beautiful. They make me happy. They make you happy. I needed a back piece to hold the letters together. A little bit of wood glue. The strength of the gorilla bonds the world. Strength like the smell of your gym shoes. Strength like you would have if you went to gym. Bear witness to the squishing of the glue. Now the letters are joined. United as one, they form my niece's full name. Observe how the angled cuts imitate the imperfect stacking of recreational learning blocks. It hangs on the wall. Look, she likes it. Next time you see a discarded lump of wood on the ground, imagine what it could be. It could be art. It could be someone's name. It could be an anthropomorphic wooden protection animal whose name is Marcus. Do not look him in the eye. Do not let your children play outside unsupervised. Do not walk alone at night. 